Most of you know that I do 90% of my work on Final Cut Pro 10. I've been using it for a while now, so I've gotten used to the functions, the options, the layout, and everything else about it. Meaning that I can get stuff done faster and still produce some quality content. So it is still my go-to editing program. If you're just getting into videography and you're looking for an easier and maybe cheaper way of editing your footage, then you might want to look into this program called Filmora. I'll get into the key features in a sec, but make sure to like and subscribe if you like this type of content. Adobe Premiere is another program that I've been working on lately. I know most professionals are editing on this, but at this current time, I don't think it fits in with what I want to do. It is a bit more complex, which isn't bad, but will just take more time getting used to. So for me, time is money. I want to be able to pump out quality content each and every time I hit the export button. Let me know what kind of editing program you guys use in the comment section down below, and let me know why you use it. I think it's perfect for beginners who are looking to edit maybe their first video or someone looking for an easier alternative to Final Cut Pro 10 or Adobe Premiere. Now let me go over some of the features that I like about Filmora. So this is how your editing screen will look like. It's very simple, nothing too intimidating for first time users. You'll have most of your options and settings on the side here. Media is where you can sort out all your files and import your video clips, which I will do right now. Once you have imported, you can easily just drag them to the timeline and adjust the start and end point for each one. The music tab gives you free music that you can use for your videos. But of course, you can always use your own. That is what I'm going to do with this project. I'm going to simply drag the track that I have downloaded from another site onto the music portion on the project timeline. There are a bunch of built-in transitions that you can use. They're actually not too bad, as I know most built-in transitions are cheesy and usually overused. Transitions such as flash, random lines, and dispersion blur are a few that I would consider using in my edits. And the cool thing is, they're always updating and adding new ones. Filters are also there for you to use to change the look of your videos. This is good if you're looking to grade your clips very quickly. They do have the options to grade and color correct your footage by clicking the clip and then this button. Here you can change the exposure, contrast, highlights, and shadows. It's not too bad for a beginner program, and they make it really easy to use too. Or if you have some of your own, you can load your own LUTs or use ones that you downloaded from the internet. The overlay tabs let you add effects like glitches, lens flares, and cinematic bars. You can also add elements like these in the next tab. They have tutorial arrows and web elements that actually might come in handy for certain videos. And the last tab is for split screen templates. It is pretty convenient to have these on hand if you need to split your screen. What do you guys think so far? Is this something you would consider? I would love to know your thoughts down below. And thank you to the team at Filmora for sponsoring this video. Make sure to test out the program absolutely free. The link is in the description down below. You can try it out. There will be a little watermark though in your videos if you decide to go the free route. If you end up liking it, then there is a one-time fee which gives you all the features and no watermarks in your videos. And it's available for both the Mac and Windows. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, click on the little bell notification button to get notified every time I post a new video.